What's up guys? Welcome to another update video. So today we just have the update. Should be a nice short and sweet video. Um, before we get into the actual updates, what just came out, let's talk about the future, the immediate future. Um, we finally have a calendar for the um, for the events. So the actual event, uh, the in-game event, will come out uh, on June 1st. And then uh, on June, uh, I believe, 8th? June 8th, we are going to be doing a 12-hour live stream. That'll be my first 12-hour live stream. Um, I think the longest I've ever done before was like three or four hours. So we're doing like three times that. Should be fun. Um, while we're doing the live stream, we will be doing a ton of things. Um, the most important of which would be raids. Raids is going to come out on the 8th. Um, I know I've mentioned before that it was going to try to come out on the 1st. Uh, we're, that's not happening <laughs> the 8th. Uh, so hopefully we will have it out on the 8th, and then we will um, start off the 24-hour stream doing, I, I imagine, a lot of raids. I, I assume that's what everybody's going to want to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to do it myself. So we'll do a lot of raids. There will be a drop party. There will be a couple random giveaways throughout, some hide-and-seeks. There will be a PK tourney. Uh, people have been wondering what the PK tourney is going to be because obviously PKing on Revival isn't that great. It's going to be DH only, DH bombs. So that should try to keep it as simple as possible. No spec weapons that kind of, you know, are overpowered. We'll keep it real simple. And it's just a f for fun tournament. Well, there will be a prize, but, you know, it should be real, real casual and just for fun. Um, and then that'll be pretty much it. We will have other things uh, throughout, but they will be kind of random. So you just kind of have to be playing to see those. The entire event will be out for the entire month. So from June 1st to June 31st, you can enjoy that. Uh, so two minutes into this video, we, actually, we should actually get into the updates. Right? Uh, so this update is pretty small, but it is an important one. Uh, achievements have been fixed. So you can now actually claim all the achievements. And some elite ones were added. So there are now 15 new achievements. They're considered elite. Um, kill 10 Acton Echoes, kill 10 Alund, kill 10 Ichthorin, kill 10 Sliske. 100 overloads, giant rock, kill 100 giant rock, kill 100 Vasa. Use an eternal ring, that's basically just a teleport. Open an uber box, use 100 sinister keys, complete 30 pizza orders, enter Ashes Dungeon 5 times, donate 10 pets, earn 5 master capes, and kill 500 or kill 50 skill bosses. Uh, so the skill bosses can be Hemonicolus or Tuz, either or should work. Um, the earn 5 master capes, people have been a little bit confused at that. Um, it's just kind of hard to like explain it because we only have so much space and um but yeah so what you have to do is just get a 500 mil and a stat five times it could be the same stat so if you really wanted to you could just get range to 500 mil reset it get range to 500 mil reset it get range to 500 mil reset it rinse and repeat five times so it doesn't matter which 500 mils just get 500 mils um everything else is pretty straightforward a lot of them just require like the pizza orders you just open the rewards skilling bosses i believe it's actually killing the boss um, donate 10 pets is pretty simple. Uh, they're all pretty simple. I decided to keep them not too crazy hard or anything like that because there's going to be other, other, you know, other stuff down the road. So I figure we'll keep that pretty simple. Uh, in terms of the other updates, just a couple quality of life things. The last brother is always your hidden brother now. Um, the pizza uh, food, like the toppings, don't have eat options anymore. Um, that's if you update your client. I think that's the only client update, but, uh, yeah. Zenite bolts have been added. I don't have any of those. Um, I don't know why I'm going to spawn them, because you can probably figure out what they look like. The special attack, I've been having trouble getting it working. So, currently, it's the, um, Onyx bolt special attack. Uh, and, and then I'm still going to work on the special attack, try to get it working. My plan was to make it the same as the Onyx bolt spec, except instead of health, prayer. But for some reason, I'm, I'm having issues with that. So, just for now, it does basically the same thing as Onyx Bolts, but better. So, just keep that in mind. Um, you can now disassemble items that you couldn't before, like Uncharged Trident and Magma and Tanzanite Helms. Um, you, whenever you do complete an achievement, you also get Pug Points now. And the messages should be a little more you know, vibrant. Same with like the 99 message and the 500 mil message. Now, if you happen to get an Uber Rare or Rare Drop Table Drop, at the effigy, the homunculus, the skilling bus, the invention skilling bus, um, it'll all appear. The loot will appear near effigy now, so you won't lose those loots anymore. Um, and then that's it. That's pretty simple. Uh, the next update, like I said, will be June first. That's when we're going to be doing the event. Um, the actual event itself, I'm not really going to talk about. There's no, there's no point. You just gotta, you just gotta be surprised, right? You just gotta be surprised. No sneak peeks. Nothing. 
Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I apologize for the fact that it's a five minute video and I haven't been uploading as much lately, but uh, I should change now. Like this update is out. I do have to finish up the event, get that 100% ready to go. But you should be able to see, you should see more videos. I almost have enough footage for another From Scratch episode. People have been wondering where that series has gone. I haven't quit it or anything. I've been playing a lot. It's just, um, I'm at the point now where it's hard to make clips because I, I don't progress much. Everything's slow. Um, if I don't get a loot, there's nothing to show. So I've actually been thinking about starting up my Ultimate Iron Man on the side. It'd be a side project. And then whenever I do finish God Wars From Scratch, I would put that as my main series. So, so let me know what you guys think about that, if I should start up Chow Chow again. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you probably tomorrow with a new video.